You probably can't tell, but I'm having some work done today in the small bedroom. I'm gonna take my big bag of crap to my nan's house and we're gonna do a thrift haul from there. <laughs> Also, for the sake of continuity, you did not see my hair this colour because I think the next three videos have me with blonde hair in them, so let's keep this between you and I. I hate ASMR, it makes me want to bite my cuticles off and rip my fingernails, so let's go. <laughs> So you may or may not know that the charity shops, well all of the shops really, reopened in the UK like two weeks ago-ish and of course the first place I had to go was a charity shop. This was perfectly timed because I have had the Architectural Digest video of Troy Savan's house playing on a loop in the back of my head and it's made me kind of hate everything in my home and it's just made me want to go and find a bunch of cool stuff for my house. <sighs> I liked a tweet the other day that said something along the lines of when I grow up I want to be Troy Sivan's house and I felt that on a very deep level. So I went out looking for curtains which I didn't find, lamps and maybe just like little knickknacks because I wanted to find a ton of things that were unique and a little bit different, not necessarily anything like Troy Savan had in his beautiful house, but just stuff that was a little bit different than what I already have, so I could switch out some of my decor pieces. So, I got a ton of stuff. Oh, no, I did not go to Sports Direct. This is from the charity shop. Pretty sure I also got some footage, so um, roll clips. Hi, it is a beautiful sunny day, and it's perfect weather to go to the charity shops. So I'm gonna have a little look around to see if I can find any interesting home decor pieces because I've decluttered so much that my house is actually looking a little bit bare now. So I thought I'd just, just take a look. If we find something, we find something. If we don't, we don't. So come with me to the charity shops. <laughs> I didn't really find much. I got a couple of items of clothing actually, um, but only two home decor pieces. So if I want to make this a thrift haul, I've got to keep looking. As you can see, the first day I kind of struggled, but then I went back another day and I found loads of stuff. I went into my favourite charity shop, which is a local one. It's called Ability Dogs for Young People. If you live near me, I donate a lot of my stuff there, so go check it out if you want to find some of my old clothes. But um, I bought a ton of stuff there. I took it to the till. This much stuff and another bag's worth, mind you. <laughs> And the very nice chap at the till took one look and just was like, um, seven pounds? So most of the things I'm gonna show you come under the seven pound category. Um, so I don't have individual prices for them, but it was a really great haul. So let me show you the stuff from there first. So the first lamp I picked up was this. I loved this when I saw it. I really like the shape of it. It's pretty cool. This is actually stickered as one pound. However, I'm not a huge fan of the shade. So let's take that off for a moment. I spotted this lampshade and this looks like exactly the kind of stuff I've been pinning on Pinterest recently. It's just a little bit futuristic and unique looking. So bear with me on this. Do you see it? I, I think that's kind of cool. I just think it's really different and it fits perfectly. So I'm looking forward to finding a space for this, maybe in my sitting room. I love that. I'm very pleased that I was able to pair these two together. Let's just get the lamps over and done with because I've got a few. 
I saw this little cutie. This is just a ceramic base lamp. And I also picked up another lamp. I redonated the base because I wanted the shade because I thought, oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna need a minute. Something's wrong here. That would look kind of cool, right? So I just, I picked up the lamp for the shade, redonated the base. I'm really pleased with this and I think it looks really cool. And once again, like a lot of the stuff that I've been pinning at the moment. So I was really pleased to find that. And last but not least, I found this little number, which doesn't look very interesting, but I've been watching a lot of Paige Weissel. I really, I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. Terrible at names but I'm gonna link her down below. She's an incredible prop stylist and she does home reviews. She did a home review of Troy Savannah's house as well. And she's always talking about using spotlighting and these little tiny lights that you shine behind like plants and other items in your house. And I thought this might work for that kind of effect. I have plugged it in, it has the most gorgeous warm light. So I'm gonna try and plug this in behind one of my plants or something in my sitting room and just create more of a vibe with some low lighting. So I'm really excited about that one. I'm pretty sure that's all the lamps, I think. By the way, if you wanna see me styling these, I'm working on a video where I've done a few thrift flips and I'm sharing some updates in my house that'll be coming out in a couple of weeks time. I've also been filming my bedroom makeover, so check back in because I'm gonna be doing those. But today, let's crack on with the charity shop haul. <laughs> I really love the trend of the abstract vases and the interesting shaped ceramics and I found these in that same shop. They're marked as like 50p, so this one is a little vase and that one, Actually, also a vase. Wow, what a concept. I really love the shapes on these, and although I don't love the colours, I think I could probably just spray paint them, so I'm gonna try and do that. Check back in with me in a few weeks time and see what these end up looking like. But I just thought they looked really cool together. I guess this is similar. This is just a plant pot, but it's ever so slightly sloped and um, kind of looks like a toilet. It kind of looks like a toilet. You know what? I can't unsee this, but I'm just gonna put a plant in it anyway. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Still from that same shop, I picked up a little pen pot. I really love the shade of lime green this is in. I'm trying to incorporate a lot more color in my home decor at the moment and lots of interesting shapes. And this one is a diamond shape. I thought this one would be quite nice on my makeup desk for my brushes or as a pen pot. I know I've got a lot of pen pots, but now I have another one. <laughs> oh, this is actually quite a necessary purchase. I picked up a basket. I've got a few of these in my bathroom and I need one for the shelves above my toilet and this was 30 pence. Well, it was part of my seven pound haul, but 30 pence. Anyway, it's a little paper basket. Before I forget, I actually picked up a really large wooden frame with a print in it. I just didn't bring it here because it's huge. This is part of the seven pound haul and the frame is kind of falling apart a little bit. It just needs a bit of TLC. So I'm going to glue it back together and sort it out. But I picked this up actually because I want to use it for some painting. I'm doing a lot of painting at the moment. Canvases are expensive and the wood on the back of the print I thought would be perfect to paint on and then I can put it in this beautiful wooden frame. So I've just got to paint something that's worthwhile being in a frame. Frame. Wish me luck. That was part of my haul as well. And I think this is the last thing I found in that shop, but um, this is an odd one. These need a very good sterilization before I use them, but this is a little Remington hot roller bag. I've really wanted to try some hot rollers for a while and I just not bit the bullet and bought some new, but these, bear with me, these look like this. Um, they're literally just plastic with a bit of metal inside and the case heats them up. So I'm gonna dunk these in a very hot fairy liquid bath or two. But um, you wrap your hair around them and then you kind of... Oh god, so many tangles are in my future. I can see it. I can see it happening now. You do that and leave them for a few hours and um, hope for the best. I'm gonna have to cut these out of my hair, aren't I? I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but um, I felt like it was at the time. Okay, everything I've shown you up until this point has cost seven pounds 
total. This is probably my best thrift haul ever. The rest of the pieces are from other shops, but let me show you what I got. You know, I've got kind of like a country-esque kitchen because I've got a shaker style cabinets. I saw this and I thought it would look really, really nice. I'm also doing a lot of baking and cooking at the moment, so. <laughs> We got a little kitchen scale. This was from the Red Cross shop and it was three pounds. Not much to say about this, but I just thought it was kind of cute looking, so I could not get it. <laughs> I also found this little tea light holder for two pounds. I think this was in the Salvation Army and it's just this sage green and it's really cute. I actually keep this in my bedroom and I've been lighting a candle for the last few nights and it throws the shapes all across the room, which I really like, so. I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not gonna spray paint that. I really like the color, so yeah, two pounds. This one is very delicately wrapped. The very sweet lady in the shop that was putting this through the till was quite an old lady and she really struggled for about 10 minutes with the till. She nearly charged me 399 pounds for this, so I'm very glad she didn't, but it was three pounds 99. It's just um, a Kappa's shell frame and it probably came from TK Maxx. I'm getting TK Maxx vibes from it. But I really like frames that look something like this or it's just a bit different, you know, I've got quite a few of this type of frame and mosaic frames around my house. And anytime I see one, I pick it up. I don't know, I just like it, so. It's giving off kind of 90s vibes. I don't know if that's in a good way or not, but I got a frame. In the hospice shop, I found a little mini easel. I didn't bring it with me. I'll show you a cutaway. But I got this because I'm doing a lot of painting at the moment and I thought it'd be fun to stand my canvases on here or do what I'm doing now and stand a canvas that I have not finished in two months on my easel to remind me to finish it. Um, oops. <laughs> but I thought the easel would be very helpful, so. I got that, that was four pounds. So that is it. That's all the stuff that I picked up for today. This, I'm gonna get editing Hermione to put a number here, is the total of what I spent on all of this stuff. I think I did really well and considering I haven't been to the charity shops for four months, I didn't go too wild. I'm trying to hold back a little bit. I'm still looking for styling props for that small bedroom and for the back bedroom. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled for things like curtains and stuff because curtains I was going to use currently hanging up in here now. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out. I made over this bedroom in my nan's house. And like I said, I've got some thrift flips and things coming up. I've got bedroom makeover. So if you want to and you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and check out my Instagram because sometimes I put thrifty things on there as well. And with all of that being said, I am so happy to be back in the charity shops. I hope you are too. So, See you next time. Happy thrifting. Bye.